Hello friends, welcome to Java Tricky Program Series. So let's see what we have for today. So this is a simple class where I have this static method where I'm just printing something. And then I have this main method where I'm saying a a is equal to null and then I'm saying a dot static method. So I'm actually accessing a static method through a object variable but this variable is actually null so what will happen will it throw null pointer exception because we are trying to access a method over null or will it work so this is one question where i have seen like uh, i get uh, correct answers from like around 50 percent of guys but i have included this here because it's very uh, rare that somebody knows the exact answer and why it is behaving like that so let's see so if I run this program, so it's printing a static method. So it means that it is able to access this, call this a static method of class A. So somebody uh, gives argument like if in this case, since it's a static method, so even though it is null, it is allowed. But no, that is not the actual reason why we are able to access this static method. So let's find it out by looking at the class file of this class static null test. Okay, so this is my JDGUI through which we can see the class file code. So let me just launch it. And uh, so this is the class. If I open this, you see that it is actually changed to a dot static method. So when my compiler is compiling the uh, Java file and creating this uh, bytecode.class file, it is actually doing this uh, optimization and uh, changing this object variable to the class A. And that is the reason it is not throwing null pointer exception and runtime and we are able to call this static method. So I hope this uh, short tutorial is able to help you this kind of question if you face in any interview thank you thanks a lot for watching bye bye